Hello, everyone. The lesson today relates to the origins of labor unions. Here is the lesson essential question. How did labor unions impact life in the United States? Now, the historical context is as follows. The labor movement in the United States grew out of the need to protect the common interests of workers. For those in the industrial sector, organized labor unions fought for better wages, so let's highlight that, fought for better wages, reasonable hours, and safer working conditions. The labor movement led efforts to stop child labor, give health benefits, and provide aid to workers who were injured or retired. And these images relate to some of the goals of the labor movement, eight hours for work, eight hours for rest, and eight hours for what we will, meaning eight hours to do what you want to do. Now, slide three is more reading material on labor movement. The question is, what is a labor union? It, and the definition is an organized association of workers, often in a trade or profession, formed to protect and further their rights and interests. Now, there's a little background. The origins of labor unions began in the beginning of the years of the American nation. As certain forms of labor required certain skills, people began to realize that they were valuable and that they could demand more rights and money for their services. This began during the late 1700s and continued to the early 20th century. From that time on, local craft unions proliferated which means increased in cities, published lists of prices for their work, defending their trade against diluted and cheap labor. We're going to have a discussion about that during class and increasingly demanding a shorter workday in the face of the Industrial Revolution. Now, this video highlights um, some of the pros and cons of labor unions. After you look at this video, you are going to complete this organizer here. So based on the information that you learn from the reading material and video on slide three, you're going to complete the pro versus con organizer regarding labor unions. And according to the information you learn, what are the pros and cons of forming a labor union? So you're going to complete that and we're going to have a class discussion. Thank you very much.